Mess around and find out. Michael Isimont and the Lightning, I think you found out. Your Locked On Capitals, your daily podcast on the Washington Capitals. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Well, hello and oh, welcome into this edition of Locked On Capitals. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. As always, this podcast is free and available on all the major platforms, including the SiriusXM app and on YouTube. And I want to thank you for making this your first listen each and every day. My name is Dan Holney. You can find me on Twitter. It's at DanCaps218. You can find the show on Twitter. It's at Locked On Caps. And the best way that you can help grow the show is to subscribe to Locked On Capitals on YouTube and comment anything down below. In today's edition of Locked On Capitals, we talk about how the Capitals picked up a huge win tonight. And how did they do that? Well, it wasn't for the right reasons. Nick Jensen got injured in the game, and that was the thing that lit the fire under the Capitals. They were out for revenge, and revenge is what the Capitals got tonight uh, on the Lightning. We'll talk about that a little bit later. We will talk about the latest with Nick Jensen's injury. But just to get it going here, uh, this is a bonus episode. I'll go into a little bit more in depth uh, in tomorrow's show, but I could not contain myself. This was a huge, huge win for the Capitals. And if you are an everydayer of the show, one of the things that you know I talk about is there has been a lack of physicality on the Capitals this season. Uh, and it was a moment like this, and it's unfortunate that it had to come to this, but Nick Jensen getting injured and having to get stretchered off the ice, that is what lit the fire, the determination underneath the Capitals as they pick up a huge win and two huge points uh, beyond pumped about the win tonight. And uh, I think that the Capitals uh, got a bit of a stay of execution tonight and a win that the Caps absolutely needed to have. They got that tonight by picking up two huge points. The Bruins beat the Penguins in regulation. So the Caps will hold on to the second wild card spot, at least for tonight. And Sunday, uh, this is a fluid situation. We know that that things can change from one moment to the next. Teams that seem like they're doing well, if they drop one game or two games, they could definitely be on the outside looking in. So the Capitals picking up the full two points was huge, uh, as there were some teams in the Metro that picked up big wins, like the Islanders, uh, that it is still going to be difficult for the Capitals to make it into the playoffs, but a, a much better outcome and a much better outlook for their chance with picking up the, the, the full two huge points. Uh, the win tonight was for Nick Jensen. Make no mistake about it. I think that the Capitals had the urgency to want to win this game before the injury, but that was on. After that, yeah, Nick Jensen left on the stretcher. It was on. Nick Dowd and a lot of the other Capitals, uh, Tom Wilson, they were looking for revenge and revenge is what the Capitals got on Isimont and the Lightning. I'll talk a little bit more in the second segment about Nick Jensen and his status. But seeing Jensen leave the ice on a stretcher, that's what really got this team fired up and looking for revenge. And it was tough. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't wasn't too confident going into this game as I saw how the Capitals played in the last game. So I'm like, well, this is the Lightning. They are a really good team, have been a really good team for years. How are they going to find a way to rise up and pick up a win? And it's like I've talked about on the show all the time that they can rise to the next level when they're playing a really good team. And sometimes they struggle with teams that aren't as good. Vasilevsky is one of the premier netminders in the NHL, and they found a way to get it done. And I cannot emphasize the win tonight enough. With the game tied, the Caps needed an answer, and John Carlson was the guy to get it done by breaking the tie. With his goal, Carlson became the highest scoring defenseman in franchise history. Uh, so to say that he is one of the best to ever do it would be an understatement. Uh, he is absolutely that. And then some, again, I will talk a little bit more about the big 
uh, evening for John Carlson on tomorrow's show. This is a bonus episode. I just I couldn't contain myself. I was a little bit late to watching this game tonight. Uh, I had the kids out today, but I wanted to get on and and just tell you guys about the great win. And ultimately, I think the Capitals are in a pretty good position. This marked the first time since March 26th that the Caps managed over two goals in a game. That's quite some time. Uh, and they found a way to get it done tonight. I, I, you know, again, that it, it's been a long time since they've done that, but they found a way to get it done uh, so that that horrible statistic can die on the vine right there. But uh, the offense was flowing, and it was really a great ca- a game for the Capitals. Sonny Milano, huge Uh, Two goals in the game. A guy with excellent hand-eye coordination uh, found a way to get some really great goals. And John Carlson and Nick Dowd. Nick Dowd was one of the players in particular that was definitely out for revenge. She wanted payback in the worst way. uh, And he got that by, one, winning the fight uh, and by scoring a goal, a huge thing. Chucky Sideburns, the outlaw. Charlie Lingren was huge. Uh, and is ultimately one of the pieces that has kept the Capitals in the playoff hunt, saving 32 of 34. He is also a guy that has taken on a tremendous workload. Uh, His 48th start of the season, he has the heaviest workload in the league since February 12th. He's been clutch in the Caps' push for the playoffs. Make no mistake about it, if it wasn't for Charlie Lindgren doing what he does best, Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the Capitals would not be in the position that they're in right now. Uh, So kind of an unlikely star, I guess I'm going to say, but huge for the Capitals and just a really great thing. This was a physical game for the Caps. 56 hits in what brought out the best in the Capitals. Again, to underline what I said earlier, the Capitals play the absolute best when they play a physical game. That was evident tonight. They need to put that in a bottle and let out the cork in the next game, and hopefully that can be what catapults the Capitals up over the top. All right, so coming up here straight ahead, I have the latest on Nick Jensen's status. What is it? I'll discuss coming up. Policy Genius is the country's leading online insurance marketplace. It saves you time and money so you can provide your family with a financial safety net starting today. Now, listen, I am someone that signed up for life insurance because I have kids, I have a wife, and I want them to be prepared if something happened to me. And I think that that is a good idea for all of you as well. Policy Genius helps you compare your options from top companies and their team of licensed experts is on hand to help you walk through it. Talk to a team of award-winning agents who will walk you through the process step-by-step. Easily compare quotes from America's top insurance uh, insurers and just a few clicks to find your lowest price. Your work-life insurance policy may not offer enough protection for your family's needs. Even worse, it may not come with you if you leave your job. Policy Genius gives you unbiased advice from a licensed expert support team. So check life insurance off your to-do list in no time with Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash locked on NHL or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash locked on NHL. When you're drafting your fantasy team, do you ever wish you could handpick the stars for your business team? If you're building a talent roster, you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. Find top talent fast with Indeed suite of powerful hiring tools like virtual uh interviews and assessments. Do you hate weeding? Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their must-have requirements. So if you are someone that's involved in the hiring uh, process, whether you work in HR or whatever the case is, take the confusion out of hiring with Indeed. Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why you need Indeed. You only pay for quality applications that meet your must-have job requirements. Visit indeed.com slash locked 
on to start hiring now, just go to indeed.com slash locked on. Once again, that's indeed.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. You need to hire. You need Indeed. All right, welcome back into this edition of Locked On Capitals, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. So a very unfortunate and nearly tragic event happened in the game tonight towards the tail end of the first period when Nick Jensen was hit by Michael Isimount and his head and neck went into the boards. He lie motionless. And I hadn't seen anything like that. He looked like he was knocked out cold. Uh, He left the game in a stretcher. And the hard part about it is that Michael Isimont was not assessed a penalty. Um, And taking a look back on the play, did it warrant a penalty? I guess I'm I'm not sure on that. Uh, He was pushed from behind. uh, But the ruling was, in any event, that it wasn't something that warranted a penalty. But I think that, you know, if he got a game misconduct, he would have got off easy as Nick Dowd took him to pound town on his face and uh, really won a decisive victory. And it wasn't just uh, Nick Dowd in particular. It was the fans at Capital One Arena that booed him every single time he had the puck. Uh, My only thing, and I know Tom Wilson got a, a shove in on him, was that if Tom Wilson could have unleashed Hell's Fury fire on Michael Isimont, because if memory serves, isn't Isimont the one that injured Rasmus Sandin last summer? So uh, he does have a history of being that kind of player. And ultimately, I'm glad that Nick Dow did something, because as I was watching the game, I was talking to my wife, and I'm thinking, there has to be some sort of retribution for doing that. You're just not going to walk away unscathed. I think back of so many years before uh, when Braden Holpe got into a fight uh, and he was getting his butt handed to him. He had his arms over his head and he said, I don't want to fight you. And he got his butt handed to him and there was no one out there to step up and, and, and help him out. Uh, so I'm glad that Nick Dowd, who is you know close friends uh, with uh, Nick Jensen, that he was able to find a way to get it done because it was definitely a scary moment uh, as a Capitals fan. And uh, we're glad that uh, he does appear that despite him leaving the ice in a horrible situation, that uh, he's doing pretty good. According to Spencer Carberry says that Nick Jensen walked out of the building tonight with his family and didn't go to the hospital. Pretty unbelievable. Good news and how scary it was at the moment. Uh, I had just assumed that when he left on the stretcher that he got rushed uh, to a hospital somewhere. I know that they have Jason Service on the ice there, but they also have usually a full uh, emergency medical response team in the event of something like this happening. But uh, in any event, great news for the Capitals, great news for Jensen himself that I don't know. I know that he left the ice, you know, with his family, but I don't know if there's going to be anything lingering uh, associated with this. But uh, kudos goes out to Alex Alexia for stepping up and and filling up and playing those big minutes. And also Vincent Iorio uh, for being the guy that also stepped up and, and just took on a huge role in his absence. That's the young guy stepping up next man up. Uh, quite a, a good thing. Uh, and a, at the end of the day, Uh, I'm glad that the Capitals won and I'm glad that Nick Jensen was the catalyst. He was, you know, the fire underneath the Capitals butt to really get him going. But I'm ultimately happy that Jensen is okay because it looked very serious. And sometimes in those situations, what those accidents that don't look that serious are quite serious. Um, and, you know, there's always the concern that when your head and your neck is, is hit that hard or your head is whipped back, that there could be, you know, loss of, you know, in your fingers, uh, in your toes, your extremities. So to find out that he's okay and he was able to leave the ice was huge. But the payback, that is what got my blood going and my fist pumping almost more than the goals. When Nick Dow just laid him out, and I, you know, I don't want to be the guy that condones fighting. I really don't. Uh, but if there's ever a moment that warranted it, 
that was it. Uh, so I'm glad that Nick Dowd was able to get his revenge in. And ultimately, I'm glad the Capitals were able to get their revenge in as they pick up a big dub and they find a way to pick up two huge points. Um, again, at, in the moment right now, they are in the, the, the playoff picture again. But things are always subject to change. They're subject to change. Uh, if you listen to this tomorrow on Sunday, the Capitals just need to batten down the hatches. They need to keep winning games. Listen, improbable was what I would summarize the Capitals winning this game tonight as. And they did just that. The improbable by picking up a huge win. I think they can do it against the Bruins. And I think they can do it against the Flyers. They need all hands on deck. They need everyone pushing their butts across the finish line. So this team that has worked so desperately hard to get here can do the unthinkable and make it to the playoffs. Listen, I want to thank you for joining me on this bonus edition. It's a Saturday night edition of Locked On Capitals. When you're done here, head on over to Locked On's 24-7 streaming channel available on Amazon and the free YouTube channel as well. And also, I want to thank all of you that listen to this show each and every day, your only daily year-round podcast covering the Washington Capitals. Again, this show isn't going anywhere. It will be going on all summer, talking Capitals hockey throughout the summer, regardless of where the Capitals are, are at in the playoffs. And even after the playoffs in the Stanley Cup, this is the place for all your Capitals news. Listen, once again, I want to thank you for joining me on this edition of Locked On Capitals, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. My name is Dan Holmey, and I'll talk to you again next time.